Growing up, you'll be asked a ton of questions about what do you want to be when you grow up. And if you're like me, I have answered these questions with different answers depending on my mood on that day. There are times I answered I wanted to be a baker, a fireman, an astronaut, and things like that. But just before you graduate from high school, you have to answer this question more seriously because you have to pick a college degree and a college school. So I ended up picking electronics engineering and I studied at Mapua. There are only two simple reasons kung bakit yun yung pinili ko. First is because I love mathematics, that's why I want engineering degree. And second is, uh, sabi nila electronics engineer are paid well. So that's why I ended up picking electronics engineering. And Mapua seems to be the best option for me at that time. When I started college, I was very quiet. I like to study and I love mathematics because I One is a one and a zero is a zero. It's very straightforward, unlike a sentence na it could mean a thousand different things depending on paano mo sasabihin. Then when I got to the major subjects, I met this prof and pinahiya niya ako sa klase namin and things things suddenly changed for me from that point. Nabuhas yung interest ko into academics and suddenly bigla na ako naging interested into extracurricular activities and from then, uh, naskimula na ako pumunta sa mga events and I started a shared business with my friend Mike. Meeting Sir Evan was a big blessing in this guy for me. Siya yung disaster prof ko. And during the latter part of my college life, I enjoyed going to school kahit wala akong klase. Minsan pumunta lang ako ng school parang bantay ng shirt namin, yung booth namin for t-shirt. And I actually never liked yung idea of selling. Gusto ko lang yung idea na I can make money on my own terms. Then a year before I graduate, I worked as a student trainee to a well-known telco company here in the Philippines. I never felt the tick when I was working as a student trainee there. I never felt alive. I was always looking at the clock na sana matapos na yung OJT ko. It's not that the people there are not nice. I actually appreciate yung mga tao doon. It's just that I never felt myself nung nandun ako. Alam mo yung pakiramdam na hindi to para sa akin. I wish I could give specifics to answer that question. Pero alam mo, may mga tanong talaga na hindi mo masasagot ng specifics. You could only answer them through your gut feel like yung tanong na, bakit mo mahal? Or does this place feel home? Or bakit gusto mo gumawa ng video? Hindi ko sila masagot speci- ng specifics. All I can say is, it's because of how I feel. And it's because of my gut feel. And it's the same sa corporate job. I could never say kung bakit ayaw ko siya. It's just that, I never felt na I was for that kind of job. It took me a long time bago ako makagraduate ng college and in fact, ako yung pinakalas sa tropa namin nakagraduate. And nung mga panahon na yun, ako nalang yung nasa school, I felt uh, lonely and yun yung lowest point in, one of my lowest point in life. And I felt left out na feeling ko na pag-iiwan na na ako. But I never regret that part kasi that's the only way I could have find my true self. Yung extended time na yun uh, allows me to find what I'm passionate about na may passion pala ako for making videos and I'm passionate about going to events to meet people. Noong mga panahon yun, I was reflecting with my options na do I follow a standard career path or will I give life a chance? And if I'll give life a chance, papano? Just before I graduate from college, an opportunity arise and that was to work for an insurance company and I happened that opportunity and see where life goes. And that train runs for three and a half years and just the last year, that train stopped and I was I was really afraid nung tumigil yung train because there's a lot of uncertainty and alam mo parang now what tapos ah uh, yun uh, there's there's just a lot of uncertainty after that and sabi nga nila after a rain there's there's a rainbow and something becomes clear to me recently that the train stopped at the right station I remember I have this college friend and the reason why I remember her kasi she's so different kasi yung mother niya was always in school and I find it really weird no mga panahon na yon. For me, college and your early 20s is the best time to know yourself. Uh, do some dumb shit, gumawa ka na mga katangahan and taste a bit of independence like make your own decision and for sure magkakamali ka but it will teach you an important lesson in life and that's to take responsibility of your mistakes. During thesis defense, during project defense, during the board exam, in picking your boyfriend, her mom was always present in making majority of the decision para dun sa kaibigan kong yun. And I know, I just feel na it's a disservice to my friend kasi it's the best time for her to learn how to make decisions and be independent and parang tinatanggal mo siya ng identity niya. Just to be fair, 
that it's one side of the story and hindi ko naman talaga alam what's really happening inside their family so take that story with an open mind to end this video na lang I encourage everyone to speak for themselves uh, express your thoughts express your opinions defy the status quo if it goes down to going against the norms and yung culture natin just to be yourself go do it but do it rationally at the end of the day we only live one lifetime and might as well live it as yourself rather than to live it as someone else's opinion. Hi, this is my early morning version of myself. So, messy hair and siya siya lang damit. I know, ako, I just really like wearing yung mga siya siya lang damit ko pang tulog. I just feel comfortable wearing those pang tulog. I know, ako lang ba yung nakaka-feel nun or kayo din. If kagaya kayo na you feel comfortable wearing siya siya lang damit na pang tulog, please let me know in the comment section down below. I just want to add na itong video na to is inspired from my two favorite creators. One is from Yes Yuri. Uh, yung video nila is yung parang chasing your passion, what you really wanted to do. Today, would like to give someone a very unique opportunity by walking around the streets of LA to find someone with a clear passion and give them $10,000 to pursue it. The catch for them, however, is that to make sure they fully go for it, they'll have to actually go and quit their day job. Let's see if anyone will be willing to take the leap of faith and fully dive into what they love. And Isa is from kay Matt Yabella. It's about uh, you're going to die. Apparently, you have limited time. So don't waste your time uh, not doing what you really wanted. It seems like a complete no-brainer, right? We're all gonna die someday, so we might as well go after the things that we want most. We should start that business, run the marathon, reconnect with a family member, because, well, you've only got one shot. We all know this. So why aren't we taking action? So if you appreciate this kind of video, uh, I would link yung dalawang video na yun na sa akin to make this video. I'll link them in the description box down below, and if you like it, you could check it there. Lastly, I want to read and react to a comment that I think is related to this video but ito, this is a comment uh, I received from my past video it's about uh, struggling to chase your dreams but I think this is also related so this is from X Joy X. this made me realize things in life like you I never liked my college course still I pushed myself and graduated uh, now my job is related to the course I took and I really hated it at first but sometime but after some time uh, I learned to love it. Uh, that's a good good thing good thing for you. I think uh, more, most things some are just perspective based. Sometimes I wonder if I can really chase my dreams and go after the things that I want. But doing so would only make me go back to square one. So ito, uh, yung, I think hindi naman talaga ikaw totally will go back to square one kasi yung mga things na natutunan mo before, dala-dala mo pa din naman yun eh. So alam mo yun, parang na, sa isip natin, uh, parang babalik talaga tayo sa simula but in reality yung mga natutunan mo before yung mga skill na na-develop mo before dala-dala mo yun sa pupuntahan mong bagong uh, bagong bagay hindi ka totally nagbabalik sa square one I'm a government employee now and yes the 9 to 5 life or 8 to 4.30 in our case is suffocating but I learn new things every day at work also I'm planning to study again this time I'm going to pursue what I want education and when I finish it uh, I'll probably teach at some university as a side job. Looking back, I feel like God leads, uh, leads us not to the things that we want, but to the things that we need and will and, and will make us grow. He leads us to the right path, although it may look like the wrong path at first. That's true. <laughs> totoo, totoo to. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, paano ba? What I just want to say is, go, uh, parang do it. Push, push mo yung education. Think mo, cause, ah, no, just feel na there's a lot of people, especially in the Philippines na, are so afraid to try new things or to to, to try yung mga uh, bagay na hindi popular or against the norms or yung culture na oh, ito, ito yung para sa'yo kasi uh, yung mga tito mo or yung mga parents mo or lahat ng relatives mo become successful doing this parang if you do something na different from them parang it's not uh, parang ba encouraged to do so so uh, to, to you Joy parang ako I, I highly encourage you to to try yung education path na to and see where it goes. Di mo, alam mo yun, parang if you really, really, really feel and like na gusto mo tong gawin, go do it. I mean, hindi naman to sure na you will be successful or what. But alam mo yun, it will help you na wala kang regrets in life pag pagkaginawa mo ito eh. So yun lang, uh, that's, that's what uh, I want to say sa sa'yo. Sorry, nag ramble ramble na ako. Anyways, this is one of your best videos so far. Keep on creating videos and doing things you love. You're inspiring others by creating contents like this. Thanks. Sobrang salamat. 
Um, yun, uh, this is the one of my best videos talaga kasi uh, I, I really put myself into a vulnerable spot in this video. So yun, salamat, salamat for the comment and to others please uh, do comment as well kasi that's the only way I feel na I'm making real connection to, to other people kasi yung mga views naman, yung mga likes naman, I know, it's just numbers parang walang context or walang thought doon. So a comment gives more thought and context para sa akin. So yun, I do really appreciate the comment, Joy. So last na lang, uh, before I end this video totally, I uh, would like to ask a favor sana na please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I would love to have yung monetization ko by the middle of the year. And yung uh, there are two requirements kasi para doon. And yung una is yung watch time hours which is yung 4,000 watch time hours and malapit na ako doon. But the sub count, I need uh, 1,000 subscribers para ma-activate yung monetization ko. And I'm just at 610 as of the moment. So yun, I would really appreciate if you uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have a friend who you think now would appreciate my type of content, uh, please uh, let them know my channel. So yun lang. Uh, yun, yun lang. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!